What if life exists in the most unexpected place in our solar system? Recent discoveries on Venus have sparked a thrilling mystery that could change everything we know about life beyond Earth. Strange gases, dark streaks, and peculiar clouds hint at something extraordinary. Could tiny microorganisms be thriving in the harsh conditions of Venus's atmosphere? Hold on as we unveil the intriguing clues and cutting-edge research that might point to life on our scorching neighboring planet. The answers might surprise you and open up new possibilities for life in the cosmos. In September 2020, a groundbreaking discovery was announced. The detection of phosphine gas in the atmosphere of Venus. Phosphine, PH3, is a colorless, flammable and highly toxic gas that, on Earth, is primarily associated with anaerobic biological processes. Its presence on Venus has sparked significant interest and debate within the scientific community as it could indicate potential biological activity on the planet. The detection was made using the James Clark Maxwell Telescope, JCMT, in Hawaii and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile. Researchers observed a spectral signature at 1.123 millimeters, which is characteristic of phosphine. This discovery was surprising because the atmospheric conditions on Venus are extremely harsh, with high temperatures and pressures that are generally considered inhospitable to life as we know it. The detection of phosphine raised the question of its origin. On Earth, phosphine can be produced through industrial processes or by microbial activity in oxygen-free environments. Given that Venus lacks industrial activity, the focus shifted to potential natural sources. However, no non-biological processes such as lightning, volcanic activity, or chemical reactions in the atmosphere seemed insufficient to produce the detected levels of phosphine. The presence of phosphine on Venus does not directly confirm the existence of life, but suggests that some unknown process possibly biological, might be occurring. The high clouds of Venus, where phosphine was detected, have relatively temperate conditions compared to the planet's surface, with temperatures around 30 degrees to 80 degrees, 86 degrees to 176 degrees, and pressures similar to Earth's surface. These conditions could theoretically support microbial life, making the discovery even more intriguing. The discovery has sparked a wave of follow-up studies and debates. Some scientists argue that the phosphine detection could be due to measurement errors or unknown atmospheric chemistry. To confirm the presence of phosphine and explore its origins, future missions to Venus, such as NASA's proposed Veritas and Da Vinci Plus missions, aim to conduct detailed atmospheric analysis and search for further signs of life. Venus is well known for its thick, reflective clouds that cover the entire planet. These clouds are composed primarily of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, droplets, making the Venusian atmosphere one of the most hostile environments in the solar system. Despite the extreme conditions, the clouds of Venus have been considered a potential habitat for microbial life, primarily because of certain unique characteristics. The sulfuric acid clouds of Venus are formed through a complex series of chemical reactions. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, and water vapor, H2O, in the atmosphere react under the influence of solar radiation to produce sulfuric acid. This results in dense clouds at altitudes between 50 to 70 kilometers above the planet's surface, where temperatures range from about 30 degrees to 80 degrees, 86 degrees to 176 degrees, which are relatively moderate compared to the extreme heat and pressure on the surface. The concept of life existing within these acidic clouds is based on the premise that certain extremophiles on Earth can survive in highly acidic environments. For instance, some bacteria and archaea thrive in sulfur-rich hot springs and acidic mine drainage sites. The relatively temperate conditions in Venus's cloud layers, combined with the presence of sunlight and chemical nutrients, create a theoretical niche where acidophilic, acid-loving microorganisms might exist. Evidence supporting this hypothesis includes anomalies in the atmospheric chemistry of Venus. Observations have shown unexpected concentrations of sulfur dioxide and other sulfur compounds that could hint at biological processes. Additionally, dark patches or unknown UV absorbers in the clouds have been observed, which absorb ultraviolet light more efficiently than the surrounding areas. 
Some scientists speculate that these could be colonies of microorganisms. The major challenge to the hypothesis of life in Venus clouds is the highly corrosive nature of sulfuric acid, which can destroy organic molecules. This raises questions about the biochemical adaptations life forms would need to survive in such an environment. Moreover, alternative non-biological explanations for the chemical anomalies have been proposed, such as unknown photochemical processes or mineral particles suspended in the atmosphere. To further explore the possibility of life in Venus's sulfuric acid clouds, upcoming missions like NASA's Da Vinci Plus and ESA's Envision aim to conduct detailed atmospheric analysis. These missions will provide high-resolution data on the chemical composition and physical properties of the Venusian clouds, helping to resolve the mystery of potential life in this extreme environment. One of the most intriguing features of Venus' atmosphere is the presence of dark patches in its clouds that absorb ultraviolet, UV light more efficiently than the surrounding areas. These UV absorbers, also known as unknown UV absorbers, have puzzled scientists for decades and are considered potential indicators of life due to their unique characteristics. The dark UV absorbers were first observed by space probes like Mariner 10 and later studied in detail by missions such as the Pioneer Venus Orbiter and the Venus Express. These absorbers are found in the cloud tops, approximately 50 to 70 kilometers above the planet's surface. They cause significant variations in the albedo, reflectivity, of Venus's atmosphere, making some regions appear darker in UV images. The exact composition of these UV absorbers remains unknown. Hypotheses include complex sulfur compounds, ferric chloride, and other unknown chemical species. However, none of these explanations fully account for the observed properties of the dark patches. The absorbers are effective at blocking UV radiation, suggesting they could be composed of particles or molecules that are highly efficient at absorbing UV light. One of the most exciting possibilities is that the UV absorbers could be microbial life forms or their metabolic byproducts. On Earth, Certain microorganisms, such as extremophiles, produce pigments that protect them from UV radiation. If similar life forms exist in the clouds of Venus, they might produce UV absorbing compounds as a protective mechanism against the intense solar radiation. While the idea of microbial life in Venus clouds is compelling, there are significant challenges to this hypothesis. The cloud environment is highly acidic with sulfuric acid concentrations that would be extremely corrosive to known life forms. Additionally, the high UV radiation levels pose a further threat to potential microorganisms. These harsh conditions would require life forms to have extraordinary adaptations to survive and thrive. To understand the nature of the UV absorbers, ongoing and future missions aim to analyze the atmospheric composition of Venus more precisely. NASA's upcoming Da Vinci Plus mission and ESA's Envision mission plan to conduct detailed studies of Venus clouds, potentially identifying the chemical makeup of the UV absorbers. Advanced instruments on these missions will provide high-resolution data that could help determine whether the absorbers have a biological origin. The dark streaks observed in the clouds of Venus have intrigued scientists for many years. These streaks, found at altitudes between 47 and 70 kilometers, absorb more ultraviolet light than the surrounding areas and have led to speculation about their composition and origin. Understanding these dark streaks could provide insights into the atmospheric processes on Venus and even hint at the possibility of life. The dark streaks were first detected by early space missions such as Mariner 10, Pioneer Venus Orbiter, and more recently by the Venus Express. These streaks appear as dark patches in ultraviolet images of Venus, indicating that they are composed of materials that absorb UV light more effectively than the surrounding cloud particles. They are distributed unevenly across the planet and can change in shape and size over time. The precise composition of the dark streaks remains a mystery. Some theories suggest they could be formed by complex sulfur compounds like polysulfur or sulfur allotropes produced by photochemical reactions in the atmosphere. Another hypothesis is that the streaks are composed of iron chloride, FeCl3 particles. 
These chemicals could explain the UV absorption but do not fully account for the observed properties of the streaks. One of the more intriguing hypotheses is that the dark streaks could be biological in origin. On Earth, certain microorganisms can thrive in extreme environments and produce pigments that protect them from UV radiation. If similar extremophiles exist in the Venusian clouds, they might form colonies that create the dark streaks. This idea is supported by the relatively temperate conditions within the cloud layer, which could potentially support microbial life. The hypothesis of life in Venus's clouds faces significant challenges. The environment within the cloud layer is highly acidic, with sulfuric acid concentrations that would be hostile to most known forms of life. Additionally, the UV radiation levels are intense, which would require extraordinary adaptations for any potential organisms to survive. These harsh conditions make the biological explanation less likely, but not entirely impossible. To unravel the mystery of the dark streaks, future missions to Venus aim to conduct detailed studies of the planet's atmosphere. NASA's Da Vinci Plus and ESA's Envision missions plan to analyze the chemical composition and physical properties of the clouds. These missions will use advanced instruments to measure the atmospheric particles and potentially identify the substances responsible for the dark streaks. Venus's atmosphere presents a variety of chemical anomalies that have sparked interest and debate among scientists. These anomalies, observed at different altitudes, suggest the presence of unexpected compounds or reactions that challenge our understanding of the planet's atmospheric chemistry. Investigating these anomalies could provide crucial insights into the possibility of life or unknown chemical processes on Venus. Space missions like Pioneer Venus, Venus Express, and more recently, Observations from Earth-based telescopes have detected several chemical anomalies in Venus's atmosphere. These include the presence of gases like phosphine, PH3, sulfur dioxide, SO2, and oxygen, O2, in concentrations that are difficult to explain through known chemical processes. These gases have been observed at various altitudes, particularly in the cloud layers and the upper atmosphere. One of the most notable anomalies is the detection of phosphine gas in the cloud decks of Venus. Phosphine is considered a potential biosignature because on Earth, it is primarily produced by biological processes. The presence of phosphine in Venus' atmosphere, where the temperatures and pressures are extreme, suggests either unknown chemical processes or potential microbial life capable of surviving in such harsh conditions. Variations in sulfur dioxide levels in the Venusian atmosphere also present a mystery. SO2 is expected to be depleted in the upper atmosphere due to photochemical reactions, but observations show fluctuating levels. This inconsistency points to possible volcanic activity or other processes that are not fully understood. The interaction between sulfur compounds and sunlight could lead to complex chemical reactions, producing transient sulfur species. The detection of molecular oxygen, O2, in Venus' atmosphere is another puzzling anomaly. On Earth, oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis. The presence of O2 on Venus could hint at photochemical processes involving carbon dioxide, CO2, and solar radiation. However, the exact mechanism remains unclear, prompting further investigation into the planet's atmospheric dynamics. These chemical anomalies, especially the presence of phosphine, raise the possibility of biological activity. While the harsh conditions on Venus make it a challenging environment for life as we know it, extremophiles on Earth have shown that life can thrive in seemingly inhospitable conditions. The anomalies could be indicative of microbial life forms adapted to the acidic and high-pressure environment of Venus's clouds. Non-biological explanations for these anomalies include unknown volcanic activity, lightning-induced chemical reactions, or photochemical processes involving solar radiation. These processes might produce the observed gases through mechanisms not yet fully understood. Research continues to explore these possibilities to provide a comprehensive explanation. Upcoming missions like NASA's Da Vinci Plus and Veritas, along with ESA's Envision, aim to investigate these anomalies in greater detail. 
These missions will use advanced instruments to analyze the atmospheric composition, temperature, pressure, and cloud properties of Venus. The data collected will help scientists understand the chemical processes occurring in Venus's atmosphere and assess the potential for life. The high-altitude haze observed in Venus's atmosphere is a significant and intriguing feature that has captured the attention of scientists. This haze, present in the upper layers of the Venusian atmosphere, exhibits unique characteristics that suggest complex chemical processes and potentially even biological activity. Understanding this haze is crucial for gaining insights into the atmospheric dynamics of Venus and assessing its habitability. The high-altitude haze on Venus is primarily found above 70 kilometers from the surface in the mesosphere and lower thermosphere. It consists of tiny particles that scatter and absorb sunlight, contributing to the planet's highly reflective appearance. Observations by space missions such as Pioneer Venus, Venus Express, and Akatsuki, as well as Earth-based telescopes, have provided detailed data on this haze, revealing its composition, distribution, and variability. The haze particles are believed to be composed of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, water, H2O, and other sulfur compounds. However, the exact nature of these particles and the processes leading to their formation are not fully understood. The presence of sulfuric acid is expected due to the photochemical reactions involving sulfur dioxide, SO2, and water vapor, driven by solar ultraviolet radiation. Additionally, the haze contains other sulfur species that could result from more complex chemical pathways. Several mechanisms have been proposed to explain the formation of the high-altitude haze on Venus. One possibility is the photochemical production of sulfuric acid from sulfur dioxide and water. Another hypothesis involves volcanic activity releasing sulfur gases into the atmosphere, which then undergo chemical reactions to form haze particles. These processes are influenced by Venus' dynamic atmospheric circulation, which transports gases and particles to high altitudes. A more speculative but fascinating hypothesis is that the high-altitude haze could be influenced by biological processes. On Earth, some microorganisms produce sulfur compounds as metabolic byproducts. If extremophiles exist in Venus's upper atmosphere, they could contribute to the haze formation. The relatively moderate temperatures and pressures at these altitudes, compared to the planet's surface, make the upper atmosphere a potentially habitable environment for acidophilic, acid-loving microbes. While the biological hypothesis is intriguing, it faces significant challenges. The highly acidic conditions and intense solar radiation in the upper atmosphere of Venus would require microorganisms to possess extraordinary adaptations. Additionally, non-biological explanations for the haze, such as photochemical reactions and volcanic activity, remain plausible and are supported by existing data. Future missions to Venus aim to investigate the high-altitude haze in greater detail. NASA's Da Vinci Plus and Veritas missions, along with ESA's Envision mission, plan to analyze the atmospheric composition, temperature, and pressure at various altitudes. These missions will utilize advanced instruments to measure the properties of the haze particles, providing insights into their formation and potential biological origins. The variations in atmospheric light absorption on Venus, particularly in the ultraviolet, UV, and visible spectra, have long puzzled scientists. These anomalies are observed as dark patches or streaks in the planet's cloud cover, which absorb more UV light than their surroundings. Investigating these variations is crucial for understanding Venus's atmospheric chemistry and exploring the potential for life. The variations in light absorption were first noticed by early space missions, including Mariner 10 and Pioneer Venus. More recent observations by the Venus Express and Akatsuki missions have provided detailed data, revealing that these dark patches are dynamic and can change in size and shape. They are primarily located in the upper cloud layers, around 50 to 70 kilometers above the surface, where the temperature and pressure conditions are less extreme than on the surface. The exact composition of the absorbing particles remains unknown. Theories suggest that these could be sulfur compounds, such as sulfur dioxide, SO2, and sulfuric acid, H2SO4, which are prevalent in Venus' atmosphere. 
Additionally, the presence of unknown UV-absorbing substances has been hypothesized. These substances could be complex organic molecules or inorganic compounds that are yet to be identified. One of the most intriguing hypotheses is that the UV-absorbing particles could be biological in origin. On Earth, certain microorganisms produce pigments that protect them from UV radiation. If similar life forms exist in Venus clouds, they might produce UV-absorbing compounds, leading to the observed variations in light absorption. The cloud layers where these patches occur have temperatures ranging from 30 degrees to 80 degrees, 86 degrees to 176 degrees, which are relatively mild compared to the surface conditions. The harsh conditions in Venus's atmosphere, including high acidity and intense UV radiation, pose significant challenges to the hypothesis of biological origins. Any potential life forms would need extraordinary adaptations to survive. Non-biological explanations, such as photochemical reactions involving sulfur compounds or volcanic activity releasing UV-absorbing particles, are also plausible. These processes could produce transient dark patches without the need for biological mechanisms. Ongoing and future missions aim to study these light absorption variations in greater detail. NASA's Da Vinci Plus mission and ESA's Envision mission plan to conduct comprehensive atmospheric analyses. These missions will use advanced spectrometers and other instruments to measure the chemical composition, physical properties and spatial distribution of the UV absorbing particles. High-resolution data from these missions will help determine whether the variations in light absorption have a biological or non-biological origin. Infrared emissions from Venus have been a focal point for scientists aiming to understand the planet's atmospheric dynamics and potential signs of life. These emissions provide critical data on the thermal structure, composition and weather patterns of Venus' atmosphere, offering insights that could hint at biological processes. Infrared emissions are detected using spectrometers aboard space missions such as Venus Express, Akatsuki and ground-based telescopes. These instruments measure the heat radiated from Venus, revealing temperature variations and chemical compositions in the atmosphere. The data indicate that Venus has a highly dynamic atmosphere with complex weather patterns, including fast-moving winds and temperature fluctuations. Infrared observations reveal that Venus' atmosphere has a significant temperature gradient with temperatures decreasing from the surface up to the cloud tops. The lower atmosphere is extremely hot, reaching up to 477 degrees R sun 72 degrees, while the upper cloud layers have temperatures ranging from 30 degrees to 80 degrees OT 6 degrees to 176 degrees. These variations are crucial for understanding the planet's energy balance and heat distribution. Infrared spectroscopy helps identify the chemical constituents of Venus' atmosphere. It has revealed the presence of gases such as carbon dioxide, CO2, sulfur dioxide, SO2, water vapor, H2O, and traces of other compounds. The detection of phosphine, PH3, in the infrared spectrum has been particularly intriguing as it is considered a potential biosignature due to its association with biological processes on Earth. The relatively temperate conditions in the upper cloud layers, combined with the presence of water vapor and other chemical nutrients, create a hypothetical niche for microbial life. If life exists in these clouds, it could potentially influence the infrared emissions through metabolic processes. For instance, certain extremophiles on Earth emit gases that can be detected in the infrared spectrum. Similar processes on Venus could contribute to the observed infrared anomalies. Infrared data also reveal dynamic weather patterns on Venus, such as the super-rotation of the atmosphere, where winds travel much faster than the planet's rotation. These observations help scientists understand the energy transfer and atmospheric circulation on Venus, which are essential for modeling its climate and potential habitability. While the potential for life influencing infrared emissions is exciting, non-biological explanations remain likely. Complex photochemical reactions, volcanic activity, and other atmospheric processes can also produce the observed infrared signatures. Additionally, the harsh acidic conditions and high radiation levels in Venus' atmosphere pose significant challenges for life as we know it. 
Future missions to Venus, such as NASA's Veritas and ESA's Envision, aim to enhance our understanding of the planet's infrared emissions. These missions will carry advanced infrared spectrometers and other instruments to conduct detailed atmospheric analysis, providing higher resolution data on temperature, chemical composition and dynamic processes. Venus is known for its extreme atmospheric pressure, which poses significant challenges for the possibility of life. Understanding these high-pressure conditions is crucial for comprehending the planet's atmospheric dynamics and assessing its habitability. The atmospheric pressure at Venus' surface is about 92 times greater than that of Earth, equivalent to the pressure found 900 meters, about 3,000 feet, underwater. This immense pressure is primarily due to the thick carbon dioxide, CO2 atmosphere, which comprises about 96.5% of the total atmospheric composition, along with traces of nitrogen, N2, and other gases. Venus's surface temperature is around 467 degrees, 872 degrees. Maintaining a consistent level due to the dense atmosphere's greenhouse effect. As altitude increases, both temperature and pressure decrease significantly. By the time you reach the cloud layers, approximately 50 to 70 kilometers above the surface, the pressure is closer to that found on Earth's surface, and temperatures range from 30 degrees Cs to 80 degrees Cs, 86 degrees Cs to 176 degrees Cs. This gradient is crucial for understanding potential niches where life could exist. The extreme surface pressure and temperature create a hostile environment for life as we know it. However, the cloud layers, with more moderate pressure and temperature, present a more favorable environment. If microbial life exists on Venus, it would likely be found in these cloud layers, where conditions are less extreme. The high pressure and temperature conditions on Venus also drive unique chemical reactions. The atmosphere's high CO2 content combined with sulfur dioxide, SO2, and water vapor, H2O, leads to the formation of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, clouds. These clouds create an extremely acidic environment, adding another layer of complexity for potential life forms. Any hypothetical life would need to possess extraordinary adaptations to survive these conditions. Understanding Venus's high-pressure conditions helps scientists study extreme environments and the limits of life. Research into extremophiles on Earth, organisms that thrive in high-pressure and high-temperature environments, can provide insights into the types of adaptations life on Venus might require. These studies also have broader implications for astrobiology, informing the search for life on other planets with extreme conditions. The high atmospheric pressure on Venus poses significant challenges for exploration missions. Landers and probes must be designed to withstand the immense pressure and temperature. Historical missions like the Soviet Venera program have successfully landed on Venus, but their instruments only survived for a short time. Future missions aim to improve durability and gather more comprehensive data. NASA's Veritas and ESA's Envision missions are set to enhance our understanding of Venus's atmospheric pressure and overall conditions. These missions will use advanced technology to map the planet's surface, analyze atmospheric composition, and study geological and atmospheric processes. By doing so, they aim to provide more detailed information on the conditions that could support life in the upper atmosphere. The hypothesis of microbial activity in Venus' atmosphere has gained significant attention, particularly with the discovery of phosphine gas, a potential biosignature. This hypothesis posits that microorganisms could survive and even thrive in the more temperate upper cloud layers of Venus, despite the planet's overall extreme environment. The detection of phosphine gas in the cloud layers of Venus by the James Clark Maxwell Telescope, JCMT, and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALEMA, was a groundbreaking finding. Phosphine is a gas associated with biological processes on Earth, typically produced by anaerobic organisms. Its presence in Venus' atmosphere suggests either unknown chemical processes or potential microbial life. 
The upper cloud layers of Venus, located 50 to 70 kilometers above the surface, have conditions that are less extreme compared to the surface. Temperatures in these layers range from 30 degrees to 80 degrees, 86 degrees to 176 degrees Fahrenheit, and the pressure is similar to that found on Earth's surface. These conditions, combined with the presence of sunlight and chemical nutrients, create a theoretical niche where acidophilic, acid-loving microorganisms could exist. Microorganisms on Venus would need to possess extraordinary adaptations to survive in the highly acidic environment of sulfuric acid clouds. On Earth, certain extremophiles thrive in acidic environments, such as those found in volcanic springs and acidic mine drainage sites. These organisms could potentially have analogues on Venus adapted to the planet's specific conditions. If microbial life exists, it could influence the atmospheric chemistry of Venus. Microorganisms might produce or consume specific gases, contributing to the observed anomalies, such as the presence of phosphine. This microbial activity could also account for the dark streaks and UV absorbers observed in the clouds, as microbial colonies might absorb UV light or produce reflective particles. The hypothesis of microbial life faces significant challenges due to the extreme acidity and high UV radiation in Venus's atmosphere. Any potential life forms would need to have biochemical adaptations far beyond those known on Earth. Additionally, non-biological explanations for the observed anomalies, such as volcanic activity or unknown chemical reactions, remain plausible and are actively investigated. Upcoming missions like NASA's Da Vinci Plus and ESA's Envision aim to further investigate the atmospheric composition and potential signs of life on Venus. These missions will carry advanced instruments to measure the chemical and physical properties of the atmosphere, providing more data to assess the microbial activity hypothesis. High-resolution imaging and atmospheric sampling will be crucial for identifying potential biosignatures and understanding the environmental conditions.